It's important that if you're an artist that works with intuition, with, with emotion, um, moments, spontaneity, this urge to, to constantly, this urge to answer to the impulse to just create, to protect, you know, all the voices and, and everyone that is going to come and try to police this freedom. It's very, very important to constantly be building on it to, to really make it really strong so that whoever comes and, and says whatever they want to say, but to be very, very firm at it because that's, that's the source of the image making. That's what gets people to talk in the first place. So it's like, if then they can talk, then it's good, but then they should still stay away. Most of the time I'm surprised at what comes out. And I wonder sometimes of my own psychology, of, of, <laughs> of my own experiences, uh, you know, previous life, uh, genetic memory. Maybe, you know, this is my second life reincarnated. And I lived as, you know, as, as something else before, and I'm maybe channeling all of these things through, you know, through, through, the, through tapping into the subconscious. Mm -hmm. um, the things that, uh, you know, my brain wouldn't remember, but somehow, intuitively, by letting the left hand loose, you know, things kind of flow out. I want to keep bringing and introducing animals into this um, painting subject. Besides the, the, the beauty in the animal itself, and the sacredness of this creature. It's deep down inside, I'm drawn to it because of the spiritual connotation that this animal has and its strength and resilience and power and flexibility to, to do all of these things on the mountains.